Bro, you feel like a champion right now? Yep. It's because you are. Get her, get her, Mariah! Woo! You killed it. We came here to elevate our levels. The only way to be successful doing anything is to try your hardest. There you go, nice. This was an amazing opportunity and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you guys so much. And I'm beyond grateful. Welcome Sunshine Nation. Come and meet my family and spread sunshine and love with us. Here we go. You're assigned to labor in the Fiji Suva mission. <laughs> What's up, Sunshine Nation? I just want to give a big thank you to all of you guys and the congratulations you gave us and the nice things you guys said about how we did at Nationals last weekend. If you guys haven't seen those videos, go check them out. They're pretty awesome. But the difference between last week's wrestling and this week's wrestling is it's two different types of wrestling. So last week, I won the National High School Championship for folk style. And this week, Tiana and I took on the challenge to go all the way to Washington State and wrestle in the World Team Trials for Freestyle Wrestling. And they call this Women's Nationals. And the difference between these two styles is folk style is what we wrestle in high school, boys and girls. Freestyle is what girls wrestle in college and international tournaments and the, in the Olympics. And they're just different points are scored for different things. And what you may get zero points in for folk style, you could get like four points in for freestyle. So it's it's pretty different and not something Tiana and I are very familiar with. But we took on the challenge. We went out there. We got to see all these girls wrestling this style. It may not look different to you guys in the video, but it's it's a little bit different. And that's the new goal, getting better at this style so that maybe someday we can take it to the next level. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Good morning, Sunshine Nation. Mariah just finished being a national champion. And now, Abe and I, and Mariah, there she is, okay, baby, to Washington State. No matter how well she does, how she does, we're so proud of her. Let's get it. Jordan's gonna take care of Julian and Jaden. It's his first time taking care of him without us. Jordan. Jordan, we're here. It's your first time taking care of Julian and Jaden alone. How do you feel? I think I've done it before. I think you have Mariah with you every time. You just hit me this morning. Because we all know that Mariah's the best mama. Mm -hmm. You bought your frozen pizza and frozen burritos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll help out a lot. Yeah. Can we just notice the bags you came with? NHSCA finalist champion bag? Team Florida champion bag. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need. Tiana has arrived. Mm -hmm. And look at her. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Looking good, Pretty huh? Cool, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey. My camera's Hi. Like, that bright. Seattle. So we're just about to land in Seattle. Then we take another plane to Spokane. Out of all the wrestlers I saw walk through here, you look the toughest. Thank you. <laughs> That's where it all goes down tomorrow. The podium. All right, Sunshine Nation. So we arrived in Spokane. As a coach, I have to go pick up my coach's pass. So we're walking everywhere. We didn't rent a car. It's a lot cheaper that way. It's the building right there where it's all gonna go down tomorrow morning. Get ready. Here we go. Morning run. Pre-nationals run to the podium. It's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. You got this. We brought a scale from home to make sure Mariah's on weight because he only had two weight classes, 108 and 116. So she definitely wanted to go 108. So we can't tell what the scale says. It keeps breaking, it keeps saying these outrageous numbers. So we went on the two mile run this morning just to make sure 
just have to make sure we're on. Ryan's a champion. Ryan, you feel like a champion right now? Yep. It's because you are. So she just went through. Uh, hopefully their scale is the same as ours. I don't get to be media this time because I received the trip to come here at the last second for first goals against Idaho. Let's go, Mariah. Let's go, Mariah.
keep the same energy. That's all right, right, right. Nice work, Raya! Oh my gosh, 12 to 1. 
All right, she's getting hanging right now. She dominated. She just texted. Second girl, she texted. 12 1. Way to go. Four more to place. Let's get it, baby. What was the biggest difference for you in that match? I try to be more aggressive. You feel like you're learning something in this? Yeah, learning how to wrestle freestyle. Yeah, a little bit different. It's really different. But are there a lot of skills that translate pretty well? Yeah, like takedowns. Um, I did the cradle. But like the difference was like I had to roll with it instead of just cradling it up to a pin. Awesome. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. It's going down for real. Let's go, T! Nice job, T! Alright, Sunshine Nation. So, if you have a complaint and you want to make a challenge on something that the referee does in the match you have to throw out an angry bird stuffed animal to check it out so that's why some of that's happening and why you see the matches getting stopped and they're reviewing to see whether or not there's a takedown or whatever it is they want to challenge uh, the coaches will challenge it and whatever it is they want to challenge it will take them that long to look back at the film and then come out with the point so just an explanation about Angry Birds and how Angry Birds in the National Championship are connected. Angry Birds. Angry Birds get thrown in whenever there's a call. They want to discuss. One more. Nice work. There you go, nice work, nice work! Nice work! Yeah! Nice job, Tiana. Broke the seal now, let's go! Let's do it! Let's go, girl! That girl looks big. Let's get it. Nice job, Mariah. Good job. Hey, 
Go give your mama. High five. Another match to win. Sadly, Tiana is out. It was a rough match. Things can happen so quickly with this freestyle. I really don't like it, but it's what they do in the world championships, like they do all over the world. So Mariah's about to wrestle again. She goes, guys. Keep it going! Nice work, let's go! Okay, it's 8 0, Mariah's killing. Points can add up very quickly. So I guess if you throw like this ball out, then that means they're refuting a point. So they refuted it, the other team, to see if it was really a takedown. It was. Not only was it a takedown, but they gave her an extra point. So now it's 9 0. Just get two, just get two. That's it, nice work. Mariah's already wrestled five matches today, but every match is either make or break. Go Mariah Mills!
and she starts to get up. Pancaker. Come on, man. Power half, use it. Run it, run it. <laughs> um, I really, I really think the girls did a great job. Thank you. But 100% honesty, I think you had both underachieved. I don't think. I think you both could have did a lot better. We both got a place. But, yeah, 100%. But, but honestly, and, and I don't want you to think this the wrong way either. One of you. We we don't train for this. We didn't train right for this. Yeah. This is a this is a five. This is a six day a weeker. This is yeah. eating clean constantly. This is running extra. This is lifting. Yeah. And, I, and you guys do what's right. To look, and you see, but levels, right? Mm. So I want you girls to enjoy Spanoka. <laughs> I want you to enjoy Spokane. <laughs> Spokane. I want you to enjoy Spokane today and tomorrow. Um, okay. We will. Listen, it's okay. She had to experience this year. Because next year she's going to come back stronger. She's going to have more knowledge. She's going to have more freestyle training under her belt. And she'll be hitting those freestyle moves like a boss. Tell everybody who you are. Denia Slaughter. Where are you from? Chicago. Yeah. yeah. How'd you go this? How'd you do? I went two and two. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Spread sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Guys, I want to give a huge thank you to two of our really, really good friends who are basically our family. We just we just call them family. And they basically made this trip possible for me. Our first friends, the Ellises, they donated so much money to this trip and basically paid for everything. Their dad came up to me and asked, how many pins do you have in the postseason? And I told him, and he paid me for every single pin and my quick pins. and. We prayed about what we needed to put the money towards, and we, we decided that this was going to be an amazing opportunity for me. And it was going there and seeing all of the, the next level wrestling, seeing all these wonderful girls who 
just put so much work in. Like it was an eye opening, eye opening experience and a humongous opportunity for me to see the next level and see what I need to do to work to get there. And I, I couldn't have done it without them. There was no possible way that we would have gone if it wasn't for them. And right before we left for the trip, um, our really, really good friends, the Fredericks, they spent money to send my mom with us as well. And it was originally just gonna be my dad and I, but my mom was able to, was able to go too. And it was just an overall really, really great experience. I was so glad that my mom and dad were both able to come with me because they've been there since the beginning with me in wrestling and me trying to reach the, my goals and just having them both there to cheer me on and help me see what I need to do to get better and be there for every match. It, it was just an amazing blessing. And I am so, so grateful for both families because I, yeah, I couldn't have done it without you. And it's, this opportunity was something that I, I couldn't have had otherwise. And it's gonna help me in the future because now I see what I need to do to work to get to that next level. And this was an amazing opportunity and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you guys so much and I'm beyond grateful.